Good morning, and welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto after a long hiatus. Um, today with my e coca mug, because it was the first in the cabinet when I went to grab for a mug this morning. Um, it is already spring, and that means I don't have to have the light on in here anymore, and I'm really interested to see how bright it gets in here this year. Um, last year was my first year in the new laundry room, and we didn't start until after spring. So, I'm interested. It'll be interesting. Um, as I said, long time no see. Sorry. Um, I feel like 10,000 things in my life happened at once. Um, all of them just busy, and none of them too terribly exciting. Um, I guess it could have been exciting, but they weren't fun. Let's put it that way. So, um, let's kind of review. I think last time I was talking, it was right at the beginning of this school year, the beginning of April. Actually, that's why I started making videos this week. I really am up trying to make sure I make videos this week. Because I realized it would be the end of April and I just would have let April go by. And I have to get back to this because I love doing this in the mornings. Because it means even before I leave the house I've accomplished something. Um, no, it was the beginning of the school year this school year. And a whole bunch of people left and a whole bunch of new people came. And it's been so busy at work. So I guess I'll talk about that first. So, um, something that most ALTs, I think, miss when they come. Because they come in August. For the most part, if they're on the JET program. Um, unless you're an ALT, like a, a dispatch ALT. Or maybe some other kind of ALT that starts the school year in April. Um, you probably miss a lot of the, I don't know, the, the busyness, for last, lack of a better word. But maybe, just maybe, even if you are there, um, or if you're a Jet who came in August and you're staying through the March-April season, you just don't realize how much stuff is going on, um, because nobody tells you. <laughs> um, I do know that when I was in ALT, um, I would get frustrated because myself, um, and maybe some other part-time teachers at the school, we would just be sitting at our desks, and then all of a sudden, the entire staff room would be empty, and we would wonder where all of the teachers went, but oh well, we would just continue doing what we were doing at our desks. And, um, it always frustrates me when I see, um, comments by ALTs here and there going, yeah, what to do with all of my desk warming time because I have nothing to do. And it always frustrates me so much because, A, I have some work I'd love to give them. <laughs> and I just feel like the teachers at their schools are just, just wasting their time. And wasting their time, their own time too, because if they were, you know, letting the ALTs help out, like, everybody would benefit. Um wasting time all around, but like, but two, there is so many, there's so many things going on at any given school at any given time. I guess it's just a time waste. Like, it seems like such a waste of personnel power. ALTs have so much to give. Um, so many, um, they could be proofreading, they could be grading, they could be looking at the Shoot, I have to proofread all of these introductions by the students at the beginning of the year. And it would just be so great if everyone had ALTs to help them out. Because the ALTs at my school help. Anyways, I don't think ALTs realize just how much stuff is going on then. Because nobody tells them that there's stuff going on. And then the teachers are just disappearing. And the kids like must be like, oh, well, they're in a meeting. Well, not only are they in a meeting, they're in like all of the different things that are happening. For example, at the beginning of the school year, there's the health check. And all of the teachers work at the health check. I either have to be moving children down a hallway towards their next station, or I have to be maybe measuring their height, or 
measuring their weight or collecting the forms and separating the forms that have to go to the next doctor. Or maybe I'm standing in the hallway before they go in for their eye test or there's so many different stages and so that's for like half a day. Then the first year students do all these different kinds of welcome to school activities and so maybe I'm standing in the hallway help facilitate helping facilitate a activity about the school motto or I'm in the um, classroom helping teach an activity about um, when are appropriate times to wear the uniform and when are appropriate times to wear the uniform in a different way or there's like so many little dumb things that just have to happen at the beginning of the school year and um I'll constantly see ALT's comment in places. Man, you know, seems like there's nothing for me to do or nothing's happening in my school in April. <laughs> I'm just like, there's so much stuff happening. Oh, the teachers. The teachers are exhausted. The teachers are running everywhere and it's terrible. Because remember, as I've said in previous years, there are, like all of the school jobs are done by the teachers. There's very few things that aren't, that, there are very few tasks that are not done by the teachers. The school office, yes, files your taxes and gets the paperwork ready or whatever. But if it has to do with the kids, if it's, I don't know, setting up any event, any, the school schedules, all of the, when classes are, um, the timetable, the, the way the bell is ringing, I mean, all of that stuff is set up by the teachers um, and while they're teaching class and while they're doing everything else. So it's, it's just a giant, awful, awful mess. Um, and yeah, I really, I don't have any time to think. So part of what um, has been driving me to be so busy that on the weekends I just want to sleep in until 10 and on the, every other day I just don't want to get up until the last moment and then I can run out and go to work. Um, it's just how busy Aprils are. Um, but then I have another reason too. I was in quarantine for a little while so I think I'll talk about that in the next video but this is enough for this morning. Um, ALTs, the teachers around you in June, they're like crazy busy. So please don't be upset if, um, I mean, they might not even have time to tell you what's going on because they might not even know what's happening either, especially if they're new. Um, they're getting blown along like leaves. We're just trying to tread water and, and keep up in the giant ocean. <laughs> it's just too much. <sighs> All right. Um, everybody have a good day. And tomorrow I'll tell you about quarantine. Yay. So yeah, have a good day. Man. <sighs> My brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> I should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto so I can at least think. 